what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got confirmation earlier in the week that andy barkley and his stepsister or foster sister kyle will be returning in the chucky tv series alex vincent and christina lee mccarthy are going to be returning to the child's play franchise in the upcoming chucky tv series which will be premiering later this fall it's expected to premiere later this fall on the usa network as well as, well as sci-fi we know production recently started on it we know that the initial episode is going to be death by misadventure and now we know that alex vincent and christina lease are going to be back in this franchise as well participating in the tv series as many of us were already speculating we've basically are not getting anything but confirmation about characters now that we've already expected to be in the show such as andy and kyle last time we saw andy he was stuck in the asylum at the end of cult of chucky and we know that was the first time alex vincent actually even participated in these films since child's play 2. the character andy though just had not been seen since child's play 3. so we had seen andy for the very first time since child's play 3 in curse of chucky at the post in the post credit scene if you got if you watch the unrated version of that film and then he appears more often in cult of chucky throughout the film in that in that film uh and we know we saw kyle for the first time since child's play 2 at the end of cult of chucky and i think in another post credit sequence where she goes to andy's cabin and she basically fills in for him to torture that chucky head that he has while andy is stuck in the asylum so how these two will factor into the tv series who knows i'm expecting them to learn about what's going on in this town of hackensack new jersey and they'll travel there and they'll just assist because once chaos unfolds those two people andy kyle and whoever else has something against chucky or just wants to put an end to this thing they're gonna flock to where all of this attention is at and if all the attention is in hackensack new jersey regarding the kid jake and a and a doll a chucky doll and a lot of death and mayhem going around the two people who know about this andy and kyle they're gonna show up that's just gonna be how they show up whether they show up in the first episode low chances of that happening i'm not expecting any of those type of characters to be around until so like people like andy kyle and then nika i'm not expecting them to be around until closer to season finales mid-season finales or season finales so for instance we know tiffany valentine is going to be back jennifer tilly is going to be in this tv series tiffany is probably going to appear no later than the second or third episode she might even appear at the end of the first episode via phone call or something uh it's very possible that tiffany will appear before andy or kyle or nika now the other thing though is that if we see tiffany nika might not be that far along because the last time we saw nika she was getting into the car with tiffany and the, and we know the tiffany doll was in the back of the car laughing and cackling i guess tiffany found a way to split her soul in half and put it into the doll because we know that tiffany put her soul into jennifer tilly even though jennifer tilly is the one who plays tiffany so a whole mess with seed of chucky there but again the chances of andy and kyle appearing early in the series i don't see that happening i think characters such as that they're going to use these characters later on around like an episode nine or ten or season finale to save the fact that they're going to build up these characters that we're being introduced to put them in a lot of trouble get us to care about them get us invested in them and then when everything seems like it's against the wall here come people that we know and love from the past here to help these new people that we are growing attached to with jake with uh his aunt and uncle maybe his cousin even anyone else involved in this tv series is going to be at the center of it and then they'll throw in the ogs they're not going to use the ogs as a way to kind of just be a crutch here that's what i would hope they don't do tell jake's story make it about jake make it about jake's life make it about jake and his uh, struggles coming out his strength he finds to come out and let's see this character thrive and use Andy and Kyle and all these other characters that we already are familiar with as just support there. Don't I don't want these characters to be used as crutches for this series because at that point, why even have your new cast? Be, like if you're gonna use your old 
if you're going to use things that are already developed as just ways to keep I, I, I really and I, I don't really even want to say this about this, but it, I, I hate when they do this with TV series. Do not use characters that are already well developed as a crutch for something that's supposed to be fresh when you have new characters around. Like that's just how I feel about it. When you have a transition in the narrative, don't transition the narrative for your new character only to then revert back to just making it all about the old characters. And it's never about the new characters again. I would hate for that to happen. Andy and Kyle, while I'm glad that they're back, I hope they're not used as crutches for this show. I hope none of the old characters are used as crutches for this show. They're they're more than welcome to be here, but I really hope we get to see Jake's story and I hope we get to see him thrive and I hope we get to learn more about Hackensack thrive, not thrive, but learn more about Charles Lee Ray and his whole ordeal as a kid since we're going to learn about Chucky's childhood. We know we're going to be seeing his dreams in many ways throughout the series. So I'm glad that these two are back. Can't wait to see what Andy has to say to Chucky after he gets out of the asylum. I hope we learn how he escaped too. Uh, cause he seems like he was pretty trapped there. Uh, so I hopefully, hopefully we learn how he got out and we'll see what Kyle has to say and what Kyle's what's going on with Kyle after what happened at the end of cult to Chucky. Cause she, we didn't see what she did, but we just heard Chucky screaming, but let me know what you guys think about these two characters being back down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our post notification and miss a video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.